it's easy to put all the blame on the fuck boys, the players, whatever you want to call them. Different age groups will call them different things. But make no mistake, you are helping to attract them if you have certain things in your social media profiles and pages and your online dating profiles that are helping to attract them. This isn't about blame. Either way, it is about you as a woman taking care of yourself in a way that you want to take care of yourself because if you want to attract those men, you can absolutely do it and you will get a lot of attention. But if you want something more, and I trust that's why you're here on my channel, I am here to help you get that and recognize what it is that you are doing to help attract that in your life. So who am I to talk about this? I'm Coach Paula Grooms, a dating and relationship coach, licensed social worker, and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. So I want you to stay till the end because the last and third way is the, the biggest way you're doing this with out knowing it or intending to attract fuckboys, players in your life. Okay, so your photos in your social media or in your online profile are an advertisement for you. Many times, certainly online dating, men don't know you at all from anyone else. And it is a flat, non-3D, no interaction way initially of sorting out swiping right or swiping left. If you have this picture in your online profile, you're going to get right swipes. There's no doubt about it. And that is the simple duck lips. We've all seen it. It is generally a selfie of duck lips. It is certainly something that they love seeing but what is it going to get you? What does it say about you? Unfortunately, whatever your intention is, if you put that in your profile, and I'm gonna trust that because you're here, likely you're not, but I'm giving you the top three things as I know them to be that connote to men that you are someone that is an easy mark, doesn't have a lot of filters, all the way to doesn't have a lot of self-esteem, self-respect, and they want to connect with you for sex, typically, and that is all. And you must know that this is due to the innate male reptilian brain that encompasses, houses the Madonna whore dichotomy. If you don't know it, it's Freud, not me. You can look it up and understand that men innately in a nanosecond when they see a picture put you in a category of either girl for a relationship marriage material maybe girlfriend material certainly or a girl just to have fun with and that girl is the girl that will post something like duck lips and Along the same line, although this is all just number one, duck lips and butt out, chest up photo. And especially if it's in a bikini, scantily clad, whatever, showing a lot of cleavage. This is unfortunate. I don't like it. Because I know if you have done that, you are simply feeling like you're sexy and you want to show that. Unfortunately, men, and they're pretty black and white about this. That's why Madonna, Mother Mary, or whore, not my word, Freud's, girl to potentially marry, girlfriend material, partner material, one to be respected for a relationship, or one just to have fun with. And if you put yourself in this category, you are going to get that. Number two is selfies. Any manner of selfies whereby it is appearing that you are looking into the camera and your phone and looking at your face or your body and you are posing for that selfie because you are looking at it. 
there is a foundational thing that you must understand that men connote women who are attempting to get attention from men as in the second category. This is unfortunate. Wish it wasn't that. Life isn't fair. Unfortunately, in love and war, no fairness. We have to deal with what is not what we would like or what would be better. So when you understand this, you have the ammunition, so to speak, to fight this war, if you want to put it like that. I don't, but you understand the connotation of if you cannot beat them, join them. Understand the male brain, understand Freud's Madonna whore dichotomy, understand what's in my book, and you will set about winning and getting the commitment you desire and deserve and the love you desire and deserve. So I asked you to stay till the end of this video because number three is really important and it encompasses more than just your picks. That is prioritizing in your profile and your picks, it's all encompassing, prioritizing physicality over purpose. This, in the biggest sense of the word, connotes to a man that you are just to have fun with, just to have sex with. You can be easily manipulated into having just sex because you do not have a bigger purpose. So you may ask, well, how am I going to connote a bigger purpose in my social media or my online dating profile? A purpose is like your own personal mission statement. What you feel you were put here for in life, what you were born to do, whatever you are doing in your life. It doesn't matter whether you are a person in the Peace Corps and that's a big purpose, right? And that would be easy to think of. What would that woman who is in the Peace Corps, what would her profile or her social media look like? It would be her in different situations, areas. She would be on purpose and her whole page or her online dating profile would connote what she's doing. If it's not so apparent, you are a CPA. You love numbers. You love working out details in things. And you are giving back to society in some way by doing people's taxes for free or something of that sort. You see, it's a broader, bigger sense of who you are. Again, it is purpose over your physicality. You are beautiful, wonderful, just for being the woman that you are. He will see that and you must trust that he will see that and you do not have to push your physical being. As long as you have in an online dating profile, seven shots, three or four face shots, no duck lips, no selfies, and three or four full body shots, not in provocative poses, not in bikinis, unless you're doing something that is your purpose. If you are a avid volleyball player and you have action shots of you hitting it over the net and in the sand and you are in your bathing suit because of it, that's okay. That's your purpose. It is not you attempting to get a man's attention by posting your physical attributes in any kind of provocative way or even not so provocative way. Better to err on the side of being a bit conservative because men who are looking for real relationships and to have a girlfriend will appreciate that and be drawn to you. And the fuck boys will pass you by. Think about this. Write your comments. I want to know what you're thinking and feeling about this. There is a lot more underneath if you are doing this to get attention. It may simply be that you've gotten the wrong information from society. One client said to me, well, everyone else is doing it. I feel I have to do it to compete. Actually, then you're competing 
for the wrong eyes on you. Let's get you in the right milieu, so to speak. Let's put you in the right advertising lane for what it is that you want. Think about it. If someone is advertising diapers for babies or dildos, think about the different models they would use for the woman who is that mother catering to the baby and putting on the diapers or the woman who is buying that dildo. This is the world we live in. Social media, advertising. We need to make a snap judgment about something and if you fall into the second category of advertising with selfies, with duck lips, butt out, chest up, you are hurting yourself by not putting your purpose first and your physicality just let it come through it will for the right man who can be that mr. right for you like this video if you do give me your comments let's talk more about it and we will in future videos and set about looking at your social media pages and your online profile with a critical eye after watching this and let me know how you do. Until next time.